Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my five favorite things from the month of June. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I want to mention is um, the Seven Seas Crossfield Journal. Now, if you have watched any of my other videos, especially my journal flip throughs, you know that this is the journal that I love and I use every day for my daily journal. This is um, by a company called Nanami Paper and it's um, a Tomoe River paper that's in here. It's um, fountain pen friendly and let me get this so it's in view. Um, it's fountain pen friendly and it also takes watercolor beautifully. It does not bleed. Um, the fountain pen does not bleed through the papers. It's 52 GSM. Uh, just lovely paper to work work with. This is the A5 size, about um, five by eight. Uh, has a five millimeter cross grid. These are not dots, these are actually little crosses. And this book has 480 pages in it, 240 plus front and back is 480. And then it also comes with a sheet of blotter paper um, that you can use with your fountain pen. Um, I, as you, some of you may know, I use this as my daily journal uh, that I draw and write in every day. This is my daily journal. Look how fat it gets. Um, and so uh, I just draw and write in this every day. And if you're interested, I've posted a couple flip throughs of my journals on um, my YouTube channel. So um, you're more than welcome to go and look at those. Okay, uh, next is the Twisby Echo Fountain Pen. I have several of these, but I did not have purple, and I felt it was important for me to have purple because purple is my favorite color. And um, this is um, a medium nib um, filled with Noodler's Air Core black, uh, Blue Black Ink. All of my Twisby fountain pens are medium nibs. Um, writes very smoothly. I do have some uh, fountain pens with gold nibs and I would say this writes almost as smoothly as they do. It's a very economical uh, beginner fountain pen. If you're just looking to start your collection, I would highly recommend getting the Twisby Echo. Uh, these, are, these are great fountain pens and I reach for them all the time. Okay, next is um, watercolor brushes. These are a set of seven silver black velvet watercolor brushes, size zero to um, 12. I use these all the time for, um, for my watercolor. Um, these are squirrel hair and black synthetic fiber. I did not know they had squirrel hair in them. Uh, uh, like I said, they're watercolor brushes. These are all rounds. Uh, I use the number eight the most. You can see I haven't used the other ones, but they hold a great point. They keep their point and you can get into the smallest spaces with the brush, um, which you wouldn't think that you could do with a number eight. Um, they're, they're just an excellent brush to use. And like I said, I use them all the time in my watercolor. Uh, the next two things come together. This is a portable uh, travel art toolkit from the company Art Toolkit. Um, it's a travel watercolor set. Let's see if I can get this all on camera. Yeah, I think it's all on camera. It comes in two sizes, A5 or um, a pocket, a smaller version of this. I've got the A5 size. And it comes with everything that you see here. It comes with a um, th this uh, portfolio, and then it comes with a little um, squirt uh, spray bottle, a little um, test tube-like thing, syringe, uh, water brush, um, a black pen. It comes with a pencil, but I put my own in here. I put a black wing pencil in here. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they're, they're great pencils. Um, you should try them out. Uh, it comes with a ruler, two metal clips to, um, to hold your book open. And then it comes with this Moleskine um, watercolor album, Landscape. It's a five by eight, I believe. Well, it's a metric, but yeah, eight, eight and three and a quarter by five inches. So um, that's really nice when you're um, on site painting. Um, 
I also bought this little watercolor cup. It does not come with this, but I bought it. I thought it was really cute. Look at that, it's so cute um, for uh, on-site or plein air painting. And then as an option, you can get a, um, a palette. They're, the ones that comes with it are smaller than this. Uh, you don't have to get the palette. But this is my number five favorite thing for the month of June. This is my art tool kit folio palette. It um, holds 60 mini pans of paint. Um, it's available in either silver or black. I got the black. Um, it comes empty and these are all metallic mini pans so they, they won't fall out if you, if you turn it upside down or something like that. It's uh, approximately five by three, the size of an index card, and it's a quarter, about a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, like I said, it's a magnetic tray and they won't fall out. So this is what I use when I travel. I take this with me and it's just the best size to use and I don't run out of paint. I've taken it to retreats with me and it holds, even though they're, they're not this as big as a half pan, I'd say they're about a quarter pan size. But um, it it's, holds plenty of paint for uh, several painting excursions if you want to use it. Um, it's just wonderful. And several of my friends have bought them after seeing mine. And it comes with this, this little um, canvas bag that you that's reusable. So that's about it. That's my five favorites for the month of June. I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and um, subscribe if you're interested. I'm very close to getting my 200th uh, subscriber. So I'm really excited about that. My channel is growing. And um, I have one or two other videos that I want to film. So stay tuned for more videos from me. And uh, I hope everyone has a good week. Thanks.